In today's brand new Dragon Ball fan manga, we are going to get some sort of closure to the Majin Bra arc, giving much needed consequences to the character of Bra, something that I believe Dragon Ball Multiverse is not going to do. Now, Bra's time in Dragon Ball Multiverse has her being part of the good guys, winning several fights of her own, and actually getting mind controlled twice. But the second time is the most destructive because in this second moment where Bobbity takes control of Bra to do her bidding as well as several other characters who have evil in their heart in the Dragon Ball Multiverse tournament, she commits countless atrocities, killing fan favorite characters in an instant, overpowering, overwhelming most of the roster from the original Dragon Ball Z manga culminating in Takno Jutsu snapping her out of the Majin Mark and finally facing the consequences of the crimes that she's done. Now whether you think that she had no control over her actions, she went willingly into the darkness, is or is not fully guilty of the crimes that she committed, is neither here or there because even her own father wants to annihilate her because he doesn't see her being a stable member of society and would rather end her than find her treatment. Ultimately, Bra needs to own up to her own mistakes and that is what today's brand new Dragon Ball fan manga focuses on where Bra is sent to Galactic Patrol Prison. And this takes place right after the Dragon Ball Multiverse Tournament where she is faced with all the crimes that she has committed, regardless if the Dragon Balls have brought anyone back. We begin with a look of the Galactic Patrol prison hovering over a galaxy and we see that Bra is sitting on her bed in her cell with her hands covering her eyes. Now, as we zoom into her despair, seeing the galaxy and the galaxy star outside her window, we go into her mind where she is reliving the moments of the tournament in Dragon Ball Multiverse where she was killing every single character. Facing the person that she became after she was taken control of by Bobbity, claiming she was number one, claiming that she has all this power now, and she is finally free to commit evil. We are at one of the most pivotal moments in this story where Bra essentially kills the Supreme Kai for just kind of being in her vicinity. And the Supreme Kai even states, I thought you aimed higher, which is something that cut Majin Bra pretty deep, pushing her to annihilate the Kai. But as you can see right here, Bra, the original Bra, the one that's in prison, she is running toward her telling her to stop and the moment from multiverse replays where bra annihilates the kai in front of her original self and it looks like they're not even in the multiverse tournament anymore it looks like they're in bra's version of hell in her mind original bra attacks majin bra but is far too slow as she dodges easily out of the way sidestepping grabbing her by the neck and choking her out and just like Majin Bra was acting in the tournament, she starts talking shit to the original Bra saying that where was all this fight when the shriveled up mage took control of your mind? Where were you? With Bra continuously insisting that it was not her fault. But Majin Bra leans in and says, and yet you committed yourself to it with such pride, which is exactly what ended up happening. And we all saw that Majin Bra was saying out loud that she wanted to be controlled by Bobbity. And we get to the point where she ends up killing Gohan. Cutting to the original Bra with blood on her hands and Majin Bra telling her to tell her mother everything that happened because at this point now Majin Bra is mentally torturing the original Bra. And with blood on her hands, original Bra is there left to think about her family members and how they mourn the dead that she had put into the grave. And we see here that we even have Pan crying over her father and Hercule trying to make her feel better. Everyone else arguing over exactly what went on and we see the fallen in the shadows near original Bra. And that's when she hears a familiar voice telling her that she is a Majin because she is the one that passively surrendered to her own evil. And Bra begs that she is not a Majin. She is the daughter of the Sun Brief family. And the person that is talking down to her is Vegito saying that you were. Basically kicking her out of the family as he caresses and comforts 
his wife. Jido says, every year spent in your sentence exile draws you closer to this feared fate of yours, which I'm assuming is turning into Majin Bra. So this is kind of the reason that I'm saying that she probably needed some rehabilitation instead of being killed outright by Vegito or even put in a prison type institute. Maybe there are some rehabilitation programs in there, but I highly doubt it because I feel like Moro would be the first one in that class. And that is where we meet what it seems like her jailer who has a mask that looks like an owl and he has Saiyan battle armor and is holding Majin Bra up by her neck, wheezing the life out of her, making the original Bra relive every moment that she had endured as Majin Bra in the multiverse tournament. So it seems like this mindfuck that's going on isn't just something that's naturally happened to Bra, but it looks like this is part of her sentence that she has to relive every sad, despicable act that she has done as Majin Bra in the tournament, which seems like this person is creating a personalized hell for Bra, who it seems like maybe she's a girl, just the way the armor looks. Definitely an interesting concept. Majin Bra tells Bra to run, and she's wondering what the hell this is and the figure says did you not just hear your own dark soul and you've heard it before it told you to run or run away and so it seems like this part of bra the majin version was always deep inside regular bra and this guy is making her confront the fact that the two are the same and the figure tells bra to run after seemingly hakaiing the majin part and Bra runs as a tidal wave of purple water and blood come right behind her and we see the one guy, the magician guy from the Dragon Ball Multiverse tournament right behind her. He looks like he just got there and that is all we have left of this Dragon Ball fan manga. There's nothing else on this so I'm gonna leave a link to the creator of this Dragon Ball fan manga in their DeviantArt page. Make sure you go ahead and check it out yourselves. Hopefully he continues the story because it is rather interesting. Let's see who won. Hashtag end of video squad. Imran Hussein. She didn't overtake Vegito. She overtook Gohan. You accidentally said Vegito. No, um, in the manga, Vegito says that she overtook Gohan already as a kid. But if she gets stronger, then he's going to have to put her down because he believes that she can. When he comes back after the whole Bobbity incident and sees what Bra has done, taking out so many high level characters, I think at that point he realized, because of what he said earlier, that she is either on his level, stronger, and it's time for her to go out. And she even blocked his attack and pissed him off. So I'm saying that at this point in time, Bra is probably around that Vegito level. And that is the reason that he needs to take her out before she gets stronger and nobody else can stop her. Anyway, thank you so much for your comment, Imran. This is going to be Black Scape signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content. Yeah.